Let's take a look now at creating custom morph sliders. That's where you can combine morphs or go out in ZBrush, create it as an object, and bring it back in as a morph. So let's say like, let's go to full body. Let's say like we wanted to make a morph that makes them old and thin. Now thin morphs you've got to kind of be careful about because they can get some unexpected results. But we're just using these two together. So let's go over here and let's create a morph slider. You can call this anything you want. This is the folder, basically. It's going to be under the body section because this is the category. So we'll call it My Morphs Aging. We want it to be the default morph as it came in. And then the current morph as it looks now will be what it is. So we'll go. Okay. And now we have our aging slider. And of course, you can combine any sliders to do that. And then you can come, well, and also you'll notice right here, my morphs. I have some here under Warlord. I have my own different aging process. You can use those two together, as you can see. Uh, looks at thinner. Sometimes it can get a little strange results. But this aging process was basically built on male, but the other aging process is built on female. So there's quite a few different things you can do here. And that's really all there is to that.